have a good feeling going into these games exactly what the plan is? And, you know, last week you didn't get in in the second half. This week you did. Well, for sure that uh, they tell me every week that I'm going in to start the second quarter. And right. Right. That's what you saw tonight. So, yeah, I was pretty comfortable with that. But as far as the, the second half, is it – Kind of just a week by week decision. Is that kind of up understand? in the air as far as the second quarter. I mean, the second quarter is always there. Right. Up in the air as far as second half goes. Yeah. As far as go. I'm sorry. When did they actually tell you you were going to go in the fourth quarter that game, this game? Um, when like the first play, the the defensive play before I went out there. So like a series before. Were you surprised? Because last week, close game on the road, they don't use you. Uh, and then this week, they, they choose to put you out there. Did that surprise you at all? I mean, maybe a tad, but I was confident in myself, and I truly feel as if them putting me in there like that, they're pretty confident in me, and that means a lot to me to see that this early. What was kind of your assessment of that drive? Obviously, started off pretty well and, and then stalled at yeah. about the 30. Started off pretty well, for sure. We moved the ball you know, pretty easily on them, and then... Uh, a little immaturity came out of me, and I started taking shots towards the end zone. I think to maybe kind of be the hero. And, I mean, it's good that I actually, you know, take back and like actually notice that now, it's not just be stubborn about it. I should have taken some underneath routes and get a first down and move the chains and make it a lot more, a lot more stressful if I would have taken those because that was a pretty um, stressful moment for me there. I had some butterflies in the stomach. What's, what's the feeling with the offense right now? I mean, is frustration starting to set in with the struggles you guys are having? You know, I, I don't really think so. I mean, I'm not. I mean, I'm great. I'm on the sideline most of the time, obviously, and I don't really get the full feel out there except for when I'm in. But when I mean we're out there, I feel like we're confident as can be. You know, I mean, I'm sure we're the same thing when Maddie's out there, no doubt. When we come off the sideline, we make corrections. You know, we might yell a little bit at each other, but that's just a football game, and that's what football teams do. But you know, we go out there and we have each other's back, and we're going to make plays. Where are kind of the the issues right now? I mean, is it is it a consistent thing, or is it a little bit all over? I mean. I feel like we just need to execute. Coach Henson came in at halftime. He's like, there's two plays I would have changed maybe. Uh, the rest of it's on us. And I think that we fully take you know, full responsibility for that. We're not blaming on any coaching whatsoever. We all know and even said that. But we just need to execute. Did you know Anthony Sherrill back in Kansas City? Kind of. I knew him when he had his dreads. Okay. That's, about, that's about how I knew Anthony. Okay. So, was it, how sweet was it to see him make oh, that pick on a fake field goal? Unreal, considering I was still sitting down and just watching the TV. I didn't really even want to get up, considering I was the last drive before you know they went out there. We're gonna go try to win the game. So you were, you were sitting, there's a TV on the sideline. You were just I mean no the yeah. Uh, oh, the, the jumbotron. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> not the TV. I was like, I haven't noticed no, that. No, 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 the jumbotron. The jumbotron. Yeah. Yeah. You're pretty confident. But, the defense is going to come up with a stop. Yes, there. very confident with them. But still, you know, there's human nature. I'm nervous, you know, thinking that I might have let everyone down, obviously. But, you know, it was, it was a stressful moment for me. But I'm glad, you know, I can do it this early. You know, I'm glad I'm given the opportunity and, you know, we'll learn from it. I've definitely already learned from it. And uh, we'll see how it plays out next week. You disappointed last week not to get in in the second half of that game. I mean, you only get to the, the one yeah. pass as a tip ball. Mm -hmm. That frustrating. That was, a, that was a little upsetting for sure. Definitely with that tip pass. And it's, you know, it happening, but you know, I took full responsibility for everything, and I understood where the team was coming from. You know, it was a tight situation on the road. My first time being there. You know, they're going to go with the veteran guy. And I'm fully aware of that. You know, I'm going to back up what any decision coaches have to say, and that's why I talked about committing here because I trust everyone here. And you know, that's a good deal.